Oh, that's four. the one. Four. Ten and eleven. Six turnovers. Damn, yo. Mighty. Yeah, let me see. <laughs> Six turnovers. Oh, five. Mm. Five. Oh, five. It's only had one. Four or five. Four five or three. Four or five, yeah. No way, I had four or five. There's no way. Wait, you had one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I got me a four. Mm. No, I ain't had no four or five. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> 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 Bad shooting day. <clears throat> Which one is better? Uh, definitely the uh, dango. Yeah, it's definitely the poster out there coming off. Yeah, yeah, I like most definitely. Yeah, alley oop is better. Yeah, I you think, think the alley oop is better? Was nah, I think so. Which one? The one stopped the last you threw? I caught one hand. I don't know. Nah. That one was tough though. What you call it? Where we were saying, your hand was two feet from the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking, because usually coach always says, like, go get the lob with two hands. But it was like, man, I don't think it's too far to get it with this hand. So he's mad at you? No, no, no. It went in. <laughs> if it didn't go in, maybe. Yeah, we actually leave tomorrow. So we um go home and then come back to the 27th. I know, I mean, 27, 26, one of those. Man, Chris, my mom's birthday tomorrow. So I think he was growing up. He was surprising. Up. I think he was mad nice. Clap for that, y'all. Yeah. 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 Juan, we were just talking about your highlights, but overall, what did you like best about your performance today? Uh, just my energy and uh, like being aggressive. My teammates always tell me that I play the best when my energy is good from the tip off and I'm just aggressive and so I feel like that, that right there. How do you feel like you've developed the most during this non-conference season? Uh, developed a lot. I know in the beginning of the uh, season, like my threes wasn't falling, and like so that was one thing that like, I was working on a lot. Even though I still went one for four, but definitely trying to like get that shooting into the uh, into the game. And what have you learned most about yourself during this stage of major college basketball? Uh, just energy, just playing with energy, playing with a lot of energy and. A lot of effort trying to make winning plays. Final one, how excited are you for the Big 12? Oh, very excited. Very. Hey, Juan, it seemed like when you guys got the quarter court uh, press pressure, that kind of kicked you guys into gear a little bit. How'd you see it? Oh, uh, it was, you talking about their press? Your press. Our press. Yeah. Oh, uh, our press is pretty good. I feel. I feel especially when uh, like me or Keontae is like on the ball, uh, trying to make it hard. So I think our, our press is pretty good. But we don't really press. We just. I think it's called make it hard. So like we really just went 
like a non-dribbler to dribble up the court. How much does running the floor get you in a game flow? A uh, lot. We emphasize that a lot for uh, all the bigs to uh, run down, well, everybody to run down and sprint to their spots. Uh, for both Keontae and Marquise, I want to get your thoughts on this. What do you think makes uh, Naquan such a good dunker of the basketball? Dunker? Length. Length. And uh, he don't get tired. I mean, so when other bigs be getting tired, he outrun them and then just have a lot of energy with them. I think that's that helps him out. Definitely. He has a lot of energy. Um, he tries to grab everything above the rim. And, you know, he's just a really good player. Keontae, obviously you guys don't take anybody lightly, but were you a little surprised at Radford today? And what did they do well to hang with you guys? Um. They just hit tough shots towards the end. I mean, they all knew they all knew their personnel. Um, when it got like ten seconds and below, they threw it to the person they wanted to score, and those guys hit big time shots for them. Really, I think um, they guard play did well. But other than that, I mean, I feel like we did good. Um, just speeding them up with our press and just changing up the pace of the game. And Marquise. Kind of talk to us a little bit about the end of the game when Coach Tang calls multiple timeouts there at the end. What was the strategy of that, and kind of how did that progress? Uh, that was a new one for me. I never seen you know something like that happen. But his his whole theory was to keep it in the backcourt um, because he knew he had multiple timeouts left, and whenever you call a timeout, you get a fresh new 10 seconds. So that's that's what his theory was, and we executed it. it was like 37 o'clock. Yeah. It was, it was 20. Yeah, he wasted two timeouts uh, just doing that, and that's, you know, that's a testament to his good coaching. Keontae, did you know that you were on the brink uh, of a thousand points? No, I actually didn't know. I didn't I mean, until Keith said it in the locker room. Okay, but, not until after. Yeah. Okay. Yes, any, any thoughts on what that means to you at this point? Um, just a blessing. Uh, God gave me the opportunity to reach a thousand points. Um, my teammates get me involved in the game. So, I mean, I, I don't know. I was just excited that I finally reached it. But When you got in there and you looked at the stat sheet and you kind of looked at your shooting, I saw you have a reaction yeah. to that. Did you feel like you were having an off shooting? Yeah, no, nah, I definitely um, just getting in my head. I got in my head earlier into the game, um, missing a couple threes that I normally make. So, and then free throws as well. I've been slacking off on my free throws, so I just got to get more reps in. Marquise, now that you guys are – headed home for Christmas break. Is there communication between you guys as far as teammates about, hey, you know, stay focused, enjoy your time with family, but is there any kind of communication that goes on just between the players as you get set for Big 12 play? No, for sure. We, we, we are like a family. Uh, we talk to each other on and off the court, so that won't change. But, you know, uh, like Coach Marco said, we have choices um, that we have to make when we go back home and, you know, just – making the right choices and staying out the way and staying focused because when we come back, you know, Big 12 play is here and we want to be ready and prepared for that. So, For any of you guys, this was Bebe's first game back in a while. He only had two points, but he had three rebounds, two blocks. How does he kind of change things for you guys whenever he's out there and then able to play? Uh, Bebe... Congratulations for Bebe being back. But his energy and effort, you know, on both sides of the, the ball is incredible. Um, we, we missed that his, the last couple of games. Um, so it's just, it's just really good to see Bebe back out there talking and being that, that you know, second or third leader when, when he's on the floor. So. Coach Tang had mentioned in the post game in uh, Kansas City that one concern maybe was coming into this game that you guys were thinking of getting out for Christmas a little too early. Did you see any of that early? It seemed like you guys were a little bit flat in the first few minutes. Uh, the message, you know, this whole time coming into this game was don't don't go home yet, um, because you know you know a lot of teams have lost, you know, by games because you know they they mentally went home and our focus was you know going one and zero and winning this game and then, you know having Christmas and making it a Merry Christmas, not just a regular Christmas. So. Wondering if you guys could give us non-conference playing books now, an overarching look. You guys have been successful ventures thus far? Thus far? Yeah, yeah, I feel like it's been successful. I mean, we've been playing as a team this last, couple, well, this last few games. The conference play has been 
been in bigger dog fights, and we just figured out how to fight at the end. So just going to conference plays, uh, I feel like we all ready for it. I mean, that's why we came to K State just to play against the best conference. So. <laughs> There's never no limit to when, how far I would throw the uh, alley oop, but you know me and Key has that connection. Um, he just look at me. He give me this look um, when he's running. Uh, he either point up or he just look at me, and you know I just throw it up because he's athletic, and you know I have you know some really good you know bouncy guys. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's the second uh, half court. Uh, Alley back to back games or first yeah, Nebraska man. then this game that was crazy. Or <laughs> crazy. That was from half. Nah, yeah, she didn't get back far. Speaking of half, that's it. Any other questions for these guys? Oh, what kind of addition has Naquan been to you guys? To K State? Yeah. Just, man. He's been a great addition, you know, just with his energy, like, on the court, you know uh, Nate, what Nate Kwan is capable of, but off the court, he has this spirit about him that's just, you know, you just want to be around him. Um, every day he's always laughing, making jokes. So, you know, he's a good guy to be around. Um, but on the court, you know, just his, the way he plays is is how K-State is and the culture that we have. And, you know, just, just to have him um, on K-State is really good um, and, I'm I'm sad that it's it's my last year that I get to play on. So yeah. Um, I feel like he helps a lot with just rebounding, just he helping me bring a lot of energy when he make big plays and then just feed off of it. Um, I mean he my roommate, so we always talk and just. I mean we just had our connections just during out the game and just know each other how to talk to each other rather. So. Yeah, I feel like um. Once, I mean, we try to like change up the pace of the game. I mean, like I said, like towards the end, when he went in half court sets down to 10 seconds, they hit a lot of contested tough shots and they guards made bigger plays. But I feel like once we started um, putting more pressure on the ball and everything, it just changed our tempo. Sure. Cam, Cam, you got a question? No, not yet. It's on Christmas. Yeah, it's my birthday on Christmas. Yeah, Christmas Day. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just had one. Did you get simple presents or not? Uh, I get whatever I ask for, but I don't ask for much. So <laughs> I take it easy on my parents. Appreciate y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.